the raven and the fox. Mr. Raven was perched upon a limb and Reynard the fox looked up at him. For the raven held in his great big beak a morsel the fox would go far to seek, said the fox in admiring tones. My word, Sir Raven, you are a handsome bird. Such feathers, if you would only sing, the birds of these woods would call you king. The raven, who did not see the joke, forgot that his voice was just a croak. He opened his beak in his foolish pride and down fell the morsel the fox had eyed. Ha! Ha! laughed the fox and now you know ignore sweet words that make you glow. Pride, my friend, is rather unwise. I'm sure this Teaching is quite a surprise.